Bypassing Microsoft account became more difficult, so it shouldn't be. That's why today I will show you how to bypass Microsoft account and use a local account instead. For this, we need to have a flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes of free space. So let's get it started. And here we go. Firstly, we need to download Windows 11 ISO. Actually, I already have it. So I downloaded from the Microsoft official website. So you may see that I have Windows 11 23H2 ISO English. It depends on your language, which ISO you want to download. You just need to type Windows 11 download and press enter. Then you will see Microsoft official website. You may see www.microsoft.com. So we'll click on it. And you just need to scroll down a little bit and do not select create Windows installation media. You need to find download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices. Click on select download and select Windows 11 multi edition ISO for x64 devices. After this, just click on download now. Just wait a sec. Now you need to decide which language do you want to use. For example, I will select English United States and click confirm. After this process, you will see 64 bit download. You need to click on it and it will automatically start downloading the ISO on your laptop or PC, or uh, you will just need to select where you want to save this ISO. So click on it. In my case, I need to decide where I want to save the file. However, I already downloaded ISO from the Microsoft official website. So you can just decide where you want to save the file and click on save. After downloading ISO from the Microsoft official website, you need to download Rufus. Rufus is an open source utility which will allow us to create a bootable USB drive with Windows 11. And moreover, we will bypass a Microsoft account requirement. We will not be forced to sign into Microsoft account. Just type Rufus download and press enter. Here you may see Rufus create bootable USB drive, select this section, downloads. From this place, we can decide which version do we want to download. As you can see, we can uh, install Rufus on our laptop or PC and it will run as normal application. Also, we can use it as a portable application. So that's mean we can run it without installation. For me, it will be the most suitable scenario. So I will click on portable version and I will save it to desktop. Click on save. Voila. After all this process, we can close the browser. No need to use it. Very importantly, now you just need to insert your USB stick into the laptop. Your USB drive need to have at least 8 gigabytes of space. So please gently insert your USB stick into the laptop or PC. I successfully inserted my USB stick into the laptop. If you have some important data or information on your flash drive, of course, I recommend to save it before proceeding to the next stage because it will destroy it, it will erase data from your flash drive. So please do backup. Then we can proceed to the next stage. We need to run Rufus. Click on Rufus. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no because this is the latest version. Now we can close this window. So here you need to select your USB drive. Yes, my USB stick has 32 gigabytes of storage. But as I said before, if you have 8 gigabytes, that will be good. Then you need to select Windows 11 ISO. But before that, click here and select disk or ISO image. Then click on select. And now navigate to the place where you saved Windows 11. So in my case, I need to navigate to this PC, local disk D and ISO. In your situation, you just need to navigate to your place. Then select Windows 11, click open, good. In image option, you need to select standard Windows installation. Do not select Windows to go. If you have a modern laptop or PC, I just recommend to leave GPT and do not select MBR. But if you have a quite old laptop or computer uh, which do not support UEFI, you can select MBR and then 
it will run in legacy it will boot in legacy however most modern laptops and computers support gpt uh, which is uefi that's fine for modern devices after that if you wish you can name your flash drive for example windows 11 23 h2 leave ntfs by default and click on start all data will be destroyed so as i said before save your data click on start and that is the most convenient windows for today because we're going to bypass microsoft sign in requirement for this you just need to check this box which is create a local account and with username so it's not necessary to type a username however if you wish you have such an option also i recommend to check all of these boxes but the most important thing is that we will create a local account also if you have an unsupported laptop or pc you can check these boxes so as you can see it will remove requirement for 4 gigabyte of ram and it will bypass secure boot and tpm 2.0 requirement and it will remove requirement for an online microsoft account which is also uh, necessary to check so check this option uh, so today i'm going to install windows 11 on an unsupported laptop so probably i will check all of these boxes as you can see we also have many convenient features definitely i recommend to check all of these boxes but if you want to bypass a login into microsoft account thing so you need to check create a local account with username and necessary will be to check remove requirements for an online microsoft account after that just click ok again it will destroy all your data it will erase all information from usb stick so be sure to save important files if you have them and click on ok now you just need to wait until the process will complete it may take some time of course it will depend on your laptop on your usb port if you have usb 3.0 port and usb 3.0 flash drive of course it will be much faster so please be patient and take your time finally we created a bootable usb drive you may see ready now we can close this window and safely remove flash drive from the laptop for this you need to click here on show hidden icons click on this icon and select your flash drive in my case this is sandisk 3.2 generation 1 and you can safely remove your flash drive from the laptop and here we go as you can see for this video i borrow a laptop that's actually not mine uh, but it will be more than enough just to show you that we can bypass a uh, microsoft requirement uh, to sign into microsoft account so this is an unsupported laptop uh, asus it has Intel core i3 processor of five generation and right now we're going to insert this usb stick bootable usb drive that we created so okay to enter the bios on this model you just need to turn on the machine and press f12 key uh, sorry f2 key not f12 uh, we need to press f12 key to enter boot menu but on some laptops uh, we don't have this feature finally we are in the bios so i will navigate to boot and now we need to move our usb stick to the first place Press enter and select USB partition 1 and USB partition 2. Now we can save the changes and press enter again. Now please take a close look. You need to click on next. Install now. If you have a license key, you can enter it. And if you don't want to activate Windows now, you can select I don't have a product key. For example, I will select Windows 11 Pro, click on Next, accept all the terms and conditions, click on Next. So, of course, to install uh, Windows 11 or Windows 10, you need to delete previous partitions. What I'm doing now, click on each partition and delete them. You need to understand that all data will be deleted from your HDD drive. Or SSD drive. Now I will just click on next. 
and we need to wait until Windows 11 will be installed on our HDD drive. Then we will proceed to the next stage. As you can see, the laptop restarted and now we need to connect with the internet. So you can connect to the internet without any problems. There is no need to bypass this moment. So you just need to connect to your Wi-Fi or maybe you have internet cable. It depends on you. I will click on next. Hilarious, we just installed a fresh Windows 11 on this laptop and Microsoft telling us that we need to change our password. However, we don't have any password. In this case, you just need to click here. It's not necessary to create a password if you don't have a password. And that's all. Enjoy. And voila, as you can see, we are in Windows 11, 22H2 version. That's Hilarious, we installed it on an unsupported laptop, but this video was on how to bypass Microsoft account and use a local account instead. So if we click on accounts, you may notice that we using a local account instead of Microsoft account. If this video was helpful, please like it. You can subscribe to my channel if you wish. And I recommend watching this video on how to get live wallpapers for Windows 11 and Windows 10.